So in today's video, I'm going to quickly talk about like the top five things that I've really been thinking about and implementing um, and the top five things that have really changed how healthy I feel, how much energy I have um, and changed my body into being a more fit, um, in shape body, I guess. Yeah. And if I'm in the right lighting and I squeeze hard enough, I actually have like some abs, um, which I've never had before in my life. Like, well, when I was like 20 something and I did a fitness competition, one time I had abs, but I was following like a crazy unhealthy diet strict strict dieting i was dehydrated and tanned but now i actually have like a little tiny bit so the first thing that i want to talk about is just like your general like your health in general and your motivation for getting in shape so usually it's like what's your motivation for getting in shape whether you want to admit it or not usually it's kind of like a two-fold answer so usually it's because you want to be healthier and feel better and have more energy. And I would say that's my main goal. Um, but the second thing is usually, I hate to say it, vanity. So you want to look better in your clothes. Um, you want to either lose weight or become more muscular, more toned or more fit looking or whatever. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but my number one tip is for the main focus to be your health for a number of reasons. If you're following a diet, especially, or an exercise regime that the main focus is for you to be healthy, you are much less likely to do something extreme and something that you're not going to be able to stick to it for the long haul. And that is just so important. That needs to be the backbone of your routine. Um, and I'm going to talk specifically about my diet um, probably in the next point, but you really need the main focus to be your health. And that way, you know that it's going to be something that you can maintain um, for the rest of your life and something that is going to be better for your overall lifestyle and your overall health and fitness. My second tip is diet related, and I'm just going to come out and say it. I'm going to get a lot of flack for this. I don't really like talking about dieting or calories or anything like that on my channel because I know it's kind of like a touchy subject for a lot of people. Um, so I'm going to make this quick, but I just absolutely do not recommend like intermittent fasting, keto, exercising on an empty stomach, not eating before you go to bed, eliminating carbs, cutting out food groups, um, any of that. Um, and I have been in like insane good shape in my life. So I know what it takes, you know, like to have a six pack and look like you're in crazy shape. I know the amount of effort that that takes and I have had the dedication to that before. Um, and I know that for most people that's achievable, but not sustainable. So you want to find a way to eat or a diet that you're going to maintain for the rest of your life. And unless there is some type of health reason why you're eliminating, you know, meat, dairy, like an environmental reason, you're eliminating carbs, especially, um, unless you have another reason, which I'm sure is an important reason to eliminate some sort of a food group, whether it's an allergy or something like that, you have a medical reason or it's something in your values um, that is making you eliminate that food group, um, then just don't do it. I am a firm believer in knowing how many calories you should eat roughly on a day-to-day -day basis and educating yourself about the amount of calories that you're eating. Do I think that every person needs to track their calories with a fitness app every day? Absolutely not. And to be honest, I think that some of these fitness apps are promoting eating in a calorie deficit that is too low, too hard to maintain, too hard on the head, too hard on the body. Um, I do recommend seeing a nutritionist and getting a ballpark idea of how many calories you're eating every day. I had no idea that I was eating like 2,500 plus calories a day. And then when I looked into it and I added them up, I was kind of thinking like, well, 
I don't even need half of this stuff. I'm just eating this stuff mindlessly. I don't need to cook with this much oil. I can stop using coffee cream and I can use milk or I can do all of these little things to eat healthier in a way that I'm re reducing the amount of calories that I eat a day. Um, and that way I'm not eliminating food groups. I'm still eating a ton of carbohydrates. I up my protein a little bit, not so much that it's hard on my kidneys or on my body. Um, and I just, my opinion, my unprofessional opinion, but the opinion of somebody um, who's really changed their lifestyle and changed their body and feels really good. In my humble opinion, I think that, you know, getting to know how many calories you should be eating and trying to stick around that range, but, you know, being easy on yourself and not restricting yourself too much, I think that's the way to go. It's really comforting for me to know that let's say I'm supposed to eat 2,000 calories a day. I'm just like picking a number. If you eat 2,000 calories worth of Oreo cookies every day, or you eat 2,000 calories of healthy food every day, if that puts you in a deficit, sorry, my phone is beeping, and that is enough of a calorie reduction for you to lose weight, you're still gonna lose the weight eating the Oreo cookies. So don't try to cut out every single piece of junk food in your life not sustainable, I have no desire to do that, doesn't make me happy. Just try to reduce the overall amount of calories and try to eat as healthy as possible while doing so. That's my diet advice. It's not cool or sexy, it's not a fad. Um, it's something that nutritionists um, have been promoting for years and I think it's the smartest, easiest, um, best way to go about it and you'll have the longest lasting results and just feel happier. The third thing I want to talk about is fitness related and my recommendation for exercising is exercising 30 minutes a day, five days a week. What is exercise? Well, it depends on what kind of shape you're in right now. So if you are a complete coach potato, um, you could really do anything, anything that's better than what you're doing right now is good. So like walking, you don't have to join a gym. I do exercise videos in my basement. I do a lot of like HIIT cardio and a lot of people will like say, you know, like HIIT cardio actually isn't the best for, form of cardio and blah, 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 blah. I do it because I like it because I know it's only going to take 30 minutes and I'm getting kind of like a muscle workout at the same time, like a toning workout at the same time that I'm doing my cardio. I do teach spinning once or twice a week. So I would consider that like a little bit more hardcore. Um, but I honestly don't think that the spinning is what has gotten me in shape. It's just been consistently doing a little bit of cardio every day and reducing um, the amount of calories that I'm eating. Choose an exercise that you like. If you hate exercising in your house, go for a walk. Join a gym, do a fitness class. It really doesn't matter. Don't overthink it. You just need to start moving your body um, and it's a bonus if you're doing something that you really, really like. Tip number four, super important, don't go hardcore. Hardcore is not fun and it's not sustainable. So even like myself, I would consider myself someone who is like an ex-athlete. Um, I'm able-bodied. You know, I wasn't like extremely overweight. I was probably only about 35, 40 pounds overweight. Um, but you want to do just enough so that it suits your lifestyle, you get to the, you know, your goals that you want, and it's something that you enjoy. If you are exercising too hard um, and you're putting yourself in too much of a caloric deficit, you're going to get really hungry, you're going to get really cranky, you're going to get tired, you're not going to feel good. So you're better off kind of starting off slow. And then as you get in better shape, um, adding in like additional exercise or different types of exercise. Sometimes you just need a little bit of variety as well. So let's say you get all gung-ho and you're like, I'm going to start dieting. I'm going to start exercising. I'm going to go to spinning like five days a week for an hour a day. If you're doing spinning five days a week for an hour a day, you're burning a crap load of calories. And chances are, you're not going to be eating enough healthy food in either in order to keep your calories at like, you know, a good place where you're just under like your baseline and you can lose weight really slowly. 
and you're just gonna like burn yourself out um, and that's when people rebound. So my advice is to do like a half hour, five days a week, something you enjoy, not hardcore. Um, and that's my only advice right now about exercise. Try some variety, try different things um, and move your body. My fifth and final and most important tip for anyone who's trying to you know, build muscle or be more toned and or lose body fat or lose weight is to make sure you're eating enough calories. Um, and I find people who don't have any idea how many calories they're eating in the run of a day have a tendency to eat too little um, when they're dieting. And some people will say like, oh, if you're not eating enough calories, you won't lose weight. It's kind of a lie. If you reduce your calories by a lot, you're gonna lose weight. Um, but you can also reduce your calories into like an unhealthy range. And not only are you going to be starving and irritable and not have enough energy to exercise and doing more harm than good, um, it's just, why would you want to do that? It's not, it's pretty much impossible to maintain um, and it's not healthy. So my first point, the main point of this video was to try to have a healthy approach and be as healthy as possible. And to be as healthy as possible, you need to find that sweet spot, that number where you have a little bit of flexibility um, with what you can eat. Um, if you find a really good number, a really good ballpark of the amount of calories you're eating a day, then you can have treats more often. Um, you can have, you know, a big meal on the weekend and still lose weight. Um, you can be a little bit more flexible with your diet and still lose weight. And I know a lot of you are going to ask me like how many calories I eat or how many calories I think are healthy or what the sweet spot is. And I'm very like apprehensive to even tell you how many calories I'm eating because every single person's body and everybody's activity level is so different. You can go on an app and, and calculate, um, basically enter in like your height and your age and your gender and all of that and how much weight you wanna lose and the app will spit out a number. Um, but I've tried this on like my fitness pals and some of the other apps and in my opinion I think the numbers are too low too extreme and too drastic and I've been able to lose weight by eating more than what the app is telling me to eat and I would always rather eat more so my advice to you is to either um, do your own research from good sources like good internet sources peer-reviewed journals sources that come from nutritionists or even better, um, go and actually see a nutritionist and educate yourself um, on what you know the ideal healthy um, amount of calories to eat is. So that's it, that's what I've been doing. Um, it's been going really well. I don't feel like I'm on a diet because I've been eating all of the same foods that I normally eat. I eliminated some things, again, like I said, that are like really high calories that aren't things that I even really like all that much. I used to cook with too much oil. I used to make coffee and I just dumped the coffee cream in it. Um, I probably ate too much baked goods. Um, so I eliminated a lot of that, but like I still eat probably two pieces of bread every day. I eat tons of carbs. I'm not eating like a super high protein diet. I'm eating the right amount of protein. I'm eating a lot of fruit and vegetables. And I had a big old piece of cheesecake last night um, and I feel like a million bucks. And again, um, I'll probably throw this in the intro like for clickbait or to keep you guys interested, but I'm almost 40. I lost 30 pounds over the last like six months or so. I have abs-ish. I have some abs. <laughs> like for the first time, since I was like 20, um, other than when I competed. And I just have so much energy and I feel like a million zillion bucks. So anyway, I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.